Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching day 19 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. It's day 19 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar and that means another blind dram. I've no idea what's in here. One of a possible 102 whiskies. They've each been poured out by my wife from uh, 70 of my whiskies and 32 samples given to me by people in the whisky community. So this really could be anything. I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll let you know if I like it and I'll have a stab at what I think it might be. On to the whisky. If you want to play along with me and find out what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description and um, you can find out what it is right now. Let's um, have a quick look at the colour. It's um, really quite dark, this one. Um, I'd say that's uh, maybe a sort of dark amber, sort of sherry. I don't know, it's, it is quite dark. Maybe it's a bit darker to me than you can see on camera, but could be added color, could be natural. Don't know at this stage. Let's try it on the nose. Okay, I'm getting lots of sugar and sweetness. There's a hint of peat in there or sort of earthiness. Yeah, it really is quite sweet on the nose. A little bit of alcohol vapour. Sort of, it's, it's like a toffee. Hint of tropical fruits as well. Mmm, very sweet on the nose. But a possible hint of peat is... It's quite light, it's been dominated by the sweetness though. There's a woodiness to it, sort of oakiness. Yeah, quite a bit of vapour though. Let's try it on the palette. Right, a little bit of prickle to it, but I don't think there's much ABV. If I had to guess, I'd say that's 40%. It's very sweet. It's quite soft as well, to start with. That hint of peat seems almost like there's an artificial taste to it. Let's give it another taste. I don't think there's, I don't think there's a sherry influence at all. Mm. But I do think it's, I'm erring on either a cheap single malt or a blended whiskey. Might be totally wrong, as usual, but Hmm. I'm trying to think, I don't have many blends. And if this is, if this is a single more, it's quite meh. It's 
little bit flat, a little bit disappointing. Hmm. I'm gonna give one more sip and then see if we can give a stab at what I think it is. Right. There's not many whiskies of mine I think this could be. And the only ones I can think of I probably haven't spent, well, I know I haven't spent any real time with. Um, I think it's, I think it's Johnny Walker. I seem to be saying that for every blend recently, but just can't think of anything else that I've got. My guess would be, my number one guess would be black, but might put gold in there as a second choice, just in case. So black or gold. Should we see if I'm right? It's not 100%, I'll take it as a second place. Johnny Walker, gold label, 40%. <sighs> I thought I was naming Johnny Walker for everything recently. It's not an impressive dram, it really is a letdown. Um, there's much better Johnny Walkers than that. Um, I did a blind taste of the whole core range, if you've not seen that, I'll put a link up there, you can watch that. But um, yeah, the black's a bit of a letdown. I can't even remember offhand if that was any better, but yeah, they, they were both unimpressive. So um, yeah, it's, it's not one that I like much. I probably won't buy it again, but I will spend a little bit of time with this and, and finish the glass. Launcher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.